After weeks of silence, Sony's flagship smartphone, the Xperia 1.7, is not only back on sale, but it's already receiving its very first major Android update. And while this new software brings meaningful upgrades, it also reveals Sony's cautious approach to design compared to Google's bold vision. So what exactly is new and what's missing? Let's break it down. The Xperia 1.7 launched with Android 15 out of the box. And now, version 71.1.a.2.68 is here. This 1.1 gigabyte update brings the device up to Android 16, making it the first major refresh since launch. But unlike a Pixel phone update, this rollout is more about refinement than reinvention. Instead of adopting Google's expressive new Material 3 design, Sony made subtle adjustments. The most noticeable? A refreshed settings layout, cleaner but not groundbreaking. On Reddit, some users are already calling the update underwhelming. Still, Sony seems to be prioritizing stability and consistency over radical redesigns. But design isn't the only story here. Android 16 on the Xperia 1.7 also introduces Google's Advanced Protection, a system that blocks suspicious apps, unsafe websites, and even scam calls. The catch is that you'll need to activate it manually in the settings. Once enabled, it acts like a digital bodyguard, keeping your device safer against modern threats. Still, there are gaps. Sony hasn't yet enabled Live Updates, a standout Android 16 feature that delivers constantly refreshing notifications, like tracking a delivery in real time. That omission stings, especially for users who want cutting-edge Android experiences on their flagship phone. On the plus side, notifications are now grouped more intelligently, accessibility sees a boost with better hearing aid support, and there's a new perk for creators, the ability to take and share screenshots in HDR quality. Subtle but genuinely useful upgrades. With guaranteed support up to Android 19, the Xperia 1.7 is built for long-term reliability. This first update may not dazzle with flashy redesigns, but it reinforces Sony's strategy – steady, secure, and practical. What do you think? Should Sony embrace bolder changes or stick to refinement? Let us know in the comments.